Okay, in this video we're going to look at the geometric interpretation of the absolute value. And the geometric interpretation is that the absolute value of a real number is the number's distance from zero on a number line. So we denote the absolute value using vertical bars, so this is open absolute value x, close absolute value, which simply means find the absolute value of x. So here we go with open absolute value 3, close absolute value. Now using the geometric interpretation we draw ourselves a number line and uh, my number line is a little crooked here. Maybe we can do better on the next one. We have 0, here's the number 1, here's the number 2, and here's the number 3. And despite my best efforts, this line sort of went up afterwards. But that's okay, because the only thing I'm interested in is how far away 3 is from 0. Well, that seems like a kind of silly question. Um, 3 is, of course, 3 away from 0, so the absolute value of 3 equals 3. So the absolute value of 3 equals 3, the absolute value doesn't seem to change the positive number 3, but it does make a difference when we have this negative number 4. So here we have open absolute value, negative 4, close absolute value. Let's start with a number line again. We have 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And here we can see that the distance from 0 the distance negative 4 is from 0 is of course 4 so the absolute value of negative 4 equals 4. Alright so now we see the absolute value actually change a number um, let's look at what it does with 0. Um, seems pretty simple here if you if you draw a number line you put 0 on it 0 is of course a distance of 0 from 0. After, after doing this example, it becomes pretty clear a, a shortcut for finding the absolute value of a number, and that is, whatever the number is, if it has a sign, just get rid of the sign. So if I'm taking the absolute value of negative 7, of course that's just going to be 7. Or if I'm taking the absolute value of 3, it's just equal to 3.